The Quinnipiac baseball team goes from elation to deflation in just a few hours' time. A late comeback in Game 1 of the doubleheader and then no hit by Mario Ferrioli in Game 2. Welcome inside the rebound. I'm Ryan Chichester. She's Sam Boskett. Sam, just three, or excuse me, two total runs scored in this doubleheader. The offense was playing well early in conference play. Is this just a bump in the road, or are there some long-term concerns for the hitting? Um, I'm going to have to go with this as just kind of a bump in the road. It's May weekend here. Maybe their minds aren't really on the diamond as much as they should have been, but I definitely think this is just a bump in the road and that they're going to be okay come tomorrow. One Bobcat whose mind was not wandering was Taylor Luciani. He pitched fantastic in game one. Eight innings, just two hits given up. Sam, how big is it if he can get going like that and keep this rotation at the top of its game? Well, every team kind of needs their pitching ace and to be able to have somebody that is able to keep the other team on their toes in the box, not really knowing what he's going to come at them with. I think it's very crucial as we move forward in MAC play. So speaking of MAC play, the Bobcats have won every series so far in conference play. That is at stake tomorrow as this series is now split. Rubber match tomorrow at noon. How big is it for the Bobcats to stay perfect in series against MAC opponents? I believe it's very, very important, especially against a team like Iona. They're second to last in the MAC. They should be able to win a series against them. And it will kind of boost their confidence after getting no hit in the second game today. So I'm hoping for another win. We'll see if the Bats can bounce back tomorrow, Sunday at noon. She's Sam. I'm Ryan. Thanks for joining us. Quinnipiac splits the doubleheader with Iona.